Hey, what's up guys? I'm Praetorian and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as we are playing with the Communist States of America. Alright, so just to show you guys what I did in between the episodes here, uh, I guess I'll show you guys the land stuff first. So we went ahead and signed all of our cab divisions uh, to go ahead and cover uh, any of the resistance up here in Canada. Uh, there's not not a lot. It's only going to take 11 of these divisions as of right now. Uh, so went ahead and did that, pulled the troops out of here. We're going to be building a new army. In fact, I'll probably end up combining this army under patch with this one. Uh, but they're going to be going to the Pacific. Uh, I've already started to have them assemble over here. Uh, and then also I've placed this uh, army here under Bradley since Bradley's going to be our Pacific commander. I need to change the names here, but we won't do that right now. It's fine. Uh, and... We're going to be sending probably multiple armies to the Pacific uh, to start doing some, some naval invasions and stuff. Uh, we need to start knocking out islands. Uh, and now that we can we can do multiple naval invasions out of ports, it's just going to allow us to, to do this so much quicker. Uh, otherwise, I would say, fuck those damn islands. But but since we can do it so so much quicker, we can send, you know, you know one, two divisions, you know, in, on each invasion and all do it from one port. Yeah, that's going to make it uh, much more efficient than it used to be. Uh, Yellow Army is going to be taking care of this invasion here as well as invading these two regions up here. Uh, and looking at our fleets... Uh, we're going to be making some adjustments here as well. Uh, so I started to create a new uh, recon fleet here. Or excuse me, not recon fleet. Uh, it's going to be a convoy escort fleet. And they're going to be helping out uh, with convoy escorts over here. While this uh, uh, Fletcher's fleet here, they're going to be, not yet, but we eventually get them assigned. They're going to be the, the fleet that's going to be doing the uh, escorts for our invasions. The naval invasion support. Uh, so they'll likely move, operate out of one of these ports here, and then cover the naval invasions in this area, probably most likely this area. So that's going to be their job, because, uh, yeah, I don't expect to see large fleets over here, and, of course, we have a fleet uh, here at Large Task Force. Uh, however, I would like to make this task force a little bit larger, um, but there's not really anything to give them from here. We're just going to give, like, the new ships that we build, the new capital ships, when they get done. We'll be moving them over to there, as well as a couple of those those nice new, like, cruisers. Uh, also, one of our submarines was not engaged over here. So we're going to have them helping us out over here, though. I think the, the, the focus over here is going to be shifting to more larger fleet actions, while we'll probably bring one of these submarine fleets over to the Pacific, where we could really use them. Uh, also moved all the air force uh, around all our air wings uh, got a lot more coverage here in the seas gonna have coverage all around the canal zone coverage here more ships here or more planes excuse me so a lot of stuff that i made adjustments to uh, so let's go ahead and start getting some things built guys obviously our focus here is going to be air bases uh, we have like no air bases here in the pacific to operate out of so this is like a major issue uh, so let's i guess we'll focus on uh, going in areas where we know that the the enemy navy is so let's go here to phoenix island uh and we do have two divisions there yeah we have two divisions there uh so i think it probably doesn't even need to be that large honestly if i think about it yeah i mean it doesn't have to be uh super large i'd say let's go ahead and redo this and let's just do two uh and did we build yeah we did build one there so let's go ahead and get uh larger air bases or any air bases really on all of our areas here and just to kind of assist us yeah we'll get one here as well and i think one right there would be nice too do we want one here yeah sure all right so yeah definitely focus on god damn it on air bases uh so that we can support the navy in the pacific because that's right now we only have hawaii that's it that's the only air base that we have uh, so it's causing us some problems. We're going to take all those down the bottom, but make, let me make sure that I don't have anything else that we need to get built here. Uh, obviously more dockyards would be a good idea as well. Uh, trying to think, I, th I think that's it. Yeah. I want to say that we're pretty much good. Uh, yeah, we're, we're good. Let's do, let's do a couple more dockyards. I feel like we don't have enough, enough dockyards. Let's go and build dockyards across here. Since this is such a naval focused campaign, we're going to want, we're going to want plenty of dockyards. Let's do oh, here. There we go. All right, so let's go and take all these down to the bottom. And that looks squared away. Should keep them busy for a while. Also, I suppose we could look at our current situation here. With uh, I did pull back a lot of the aluminum we were trading for because now we have the aluminum here. Uh, and then also a steel I was able to pull back from as well. It does seem that we need a bit more rubber, though. So we'll trade for that. And now it's saying it's too much. Let's just do one. See what happens there. All right, that looks pretty good. Uh, we got the Air War Plans Division. Excellent. Uh, so that's going to make our fighters uh, cheaper to build. 
Uh, and we got some air experience from that. And some doctrine research bonuses. Nice. Which is really good considering the fact that we're going to be shifting focus to the air war uh, as well as the naval war. Just taking a look at what this is, military construction here. Yeah, uh, five military factories is nice and all, but yeah, not really our focus here. Oh, yes, that's right. We need to get the Marines built. We're going to do that here soon. Uh, so let's get stuff for our Navy. Uh, so this would be trade convoys are going to be quicker to build and amphibious invasion speeds. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Let's get that one. We're going to need the convoys and we're doing a bunch of invasions, so it's going to be helpful. And speaking of invasions, we need some Marines. So we haven't been able to build them yet. Everybody keeps bringing them up. Like, where's your Marines? Well, we haven't. We didn't have any experience, uh, and we had to build our own division design here. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's create an empty one. We're not gonna be able to get any uh, any support companies from her right now. That's fine though, as long as we have them building. Uh, that's what's important. So we'll get five battalions of Marine divisions, and that'll be all of our experience. So one thing I've done in, in past campaigns that everybody seems to kind of like is being able to name the division. Uh, the division designs. Uh, so, you know, we have the infantry, cap, guard. They're all very basic. Uh, so if you guys want to provide names uh, for any of our division designs, and post them down in the comments below. I'll select the best ones. And, uh, yeah, we can name all of them. Uh, whatever. I don't, I don't care. I guess it could be silly names if you want. It's probably better if it's more serious names. Some people get irritated when I name the silly stuff. But, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really care. Just the best name wins. Uh, so let's go ahead and get these Marines training up. Probably gonna build a ton of these guys. I know that they're obviously not fully built out yet, but that's okay. Uh, let's do uh, a lot of them. You can see that we have a limit on our, how many Marines we're gonna be able to get. Let's just build out 10. We'll leave one open uh, for if we decide to get paratroopers anytime soon. All right, so that looks good. And we still got a lot of equipment left, so there's no reason not to get like more infantry. But I bet a bunch of our infantry, get, infantry get, end up getting sunk any damn way, so it'd probably be a good idea. Uh, to get them because uh, we're going to be moving a lot of troops across the seas and it's inevitable that some of them are going to get caught even with patrols out there and stuff. I, I don't see all of them making it. Uh, we did finish up these infantry. Let's go ahead and take them and let's move them to, to this army here. This is the second army that we're going to be bringing. Obviously not going to bring them all at once. We're just not going to have, yeah, there's just no way we're not going to be able to supply them all guys. All right, so everybody's moving over here um, and we're going to have these guys support that. Try and get that port taken. And call to arms. No. No Soviet Union. I'm not interested. All right, getting all these troops moved over here. And where's that yellow uh, army? All right, they're still moving. Let's go ahead and get their invasion set up, but we'll probably move them manually. Just to make sure they don't take the seas since there are Japanese submarines floating around here. Still waiting on those four. Did we wrap this up over here? We did. Excellent. All right, let's go ahead and get them all going over to here. Uh, and we'll move them all at the same time, I suppose. Ah, uh, it doesn't really matter. Yes, sir. And let's get them going to Texas for right now. All right, so they're all going to go to Texas, and then from there they're going to come over here to the uh, to Los Angeles, and then we'll just combine this army with this one. All right, are these guys in here yet? All right, almost. Uh, and then we're going to send them up to the north. There we go. All right, so let's go and send all these guys up here. Uh, we'll launch the invasions from. Well, we'll launch one from there, I suppose. That'd probably be the best location. And then one from from here. Yeah, that's the only only location. All right, so let's just take... I mean, we don't really need all of these. Let's do... I'm um, over there, and then the top four here. I'm probably not going to send this many, but we'll have them there anyway, just in case we end up needing them. They'll be in the area. Uh, we're stacked up with divisions with nothing to do with them right now uh, because we won... We won our land war, and there's nowhere to ship them to where they're not at risk. Uh, I would love to ship them to the Soviet Union, but they need a damn port. They do have a port. Hmm, they got they got control of a port. It's a risky place to, to send our troops. And what are they doing now? Are they sending troops over? What the hell are they doing? I have no idea what they're doing. What are, Russia, god damn you. <laughs> they got all these troops going across the damn sea and shit. Yeah, maybe we'll send troops over here, guys. Uh, I think it's worth a risk. Like send, um, like I said, Bradley, Bradley's troops over there, actually. Maybe just a little bit at a time. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Let's wrap this up first, and then we'll go send some troops to the Soviet Union, if they can keep that port open. So these guys are supposed to be moving uh, to where Patton's army is. I gave Patton tanks, because Patton didn't have tanks. What the hell's going wrong? 
When Patton doesn't have tanks, that's not good. Okay, oh, here we go. Uh, it looks like this is not, okay, not in our patrol area. Never mind. I thought this was going to be a major fleet action here. Uh, that is not the case, though. It's just them sinking our damn submarines again. All right. We did stop the invasion, though. That's what's important. Uh, and, you know, we're continuing sinking their convoys, but... I can't send my fleet over there because their fleet is so damn massive, guys. Uh, there's no way that our tiny little, you know, 25 ship uh, fleet would be able to, to handle this uh, task right now. Uh, so, I mean, they're they're completing their job and they're getting away. That's what's important. You know, we're not losing a ton of submarines. It could be a lot worse. Uh, in fact, we actually, what are these guys doing? Oh, okay, they're over here and they're helping out. All right, we'll leave those ones over there. Uh, but what I think we're gonna do is and we have a light cruiser done excellent let's take the light cruiser and he's gonna move to this ship to this fleet we need to build this fleet up a bit more because they just can't handle it they don't have uh, the ability to to fight the japanese over here and we're gonna send one of these submarines over here it doesn't really matter which one i suppose we'll send this one and then we're gonna have them uh support in fact we might actually create a new submarine army actually i think that'd be far better to do yeah, uh, let's do a, a second uh, submarine, maybe. I wish that there was a way to assign, you know, different zones for each task force for your fleet, but that's not an option, so it will have to be a secondary navy. And then what we could do is launch from a two island here and then start sinking shit here uh, just just for shits and giggles. Uh, just attack them all across this region. Hopefully we don't get, get sunk, uh, but just kind of spread them out a little bit because right now these guys are getting tore up over here. Uh, so I think it would be a good idea. So let's send... Uh, these guys here Put them under a well. We're gonna put them over here uh, And let's get them moving over to here right now. Uh, it's gonna take them a, a long time to get here And I want to say that's all of our admirals as well. Yeah, that's all of our admirals So we're gonna have to get a new new admiral. That's okay. We need them anyway uh, And yeah, we did spend our political power, which is you know, obviously not a good thing. Oh, we got naval lineage All right Send this guy over here and yeah, he's gonna bring his uh Ships over here, and then maybe we'll give them some of these ones. I don't know. I feel like we're going to leave these smaller because every time they get engaged, they're losing more and more submarines. But yeah, it just hasn't been going well over there, but we have been sinking a lot of convoys. We're winning the convoy war, uh, so that's what's important. We did seize Bermuda. That is fantastic. All right. Uh, so now that that's been done, uh, what we're going to be doing here is these divisions here, it, this is a, a critically important area for us to defend. So we're going to put them into our defensive army, which doesn't have a commander because uh, obviously there's no commander who could command this many divisions. But he does have a field marshal, so it's at least getting the field marshal bonuses. Uh, so oops, I didn't mean to do that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and build Bermuda up. This is going to be our base of operations. So we're going to want a large naval base for def for uh, fixing our ships. Uh, in fact, we might just build all the way up to the top, I want to say. Yeah, let's just go all the way up with that one. Uh, and then we're going to want radar. And then we're going to want an air base. Uh, it doesn't need to be full size, though. Let's do, let's do like five. Uh, that looks solid. I don't think there's anything else that we need. Yeah, we're good to go. And we're going to take all that up to the top because this is this is important to get this done here. All right. Uh, so, uh, well, we can let Phoenix Island finish. Yeah, a lot of these are almost done. Yeah, we'll let them finish because they're smaller and we're building those ones all the way up. All right. So that looks sexy, man. This is going to be where we're going to be operating out of. We're going to be shifting our fleet once we finish moving all these damn uh, convoys across. We're going to be shifting our fleet to start focusing on, on the Mid-Atlantic uh, and start engaging the, the British fleet there. Uh, and what happened over here? All right, sunk some convoys. Excellent. All right, so this, uh, let me just take a look here. We might want to have uh, these guys right, where the hell they at? Right here. Uh, we're probably going to want them to operate here uh, where we have the convoy rating. Uh, so move them just like so, uh, so that they can do the naval invasions that we're about to do. They can help with the naval invasions. Uh, so... Let me see what else we got over here. Call to arms. No. Not interested, my friends. I'm sorry. I apologize. I just can't do it. So, I feel like we got enough. We, we were done. Let's go ahead and move these guys over now. Uh, so, let's move our, our main task force here, uh, which is right here. All right. So, let's have these guys uh, operate right here, right here, and right here. Yeah, that's where we'll sign them. All right. So, let's have... Uh, oh, they gotta be. They gotta have a mission. Strike force. There we go. All right, so they're gonna strike force these three regions here, uh, and then let's go ahead and have these two doing their patrols in that area. 
patrol. Oh, they're not pulled out from here yet. All right, there we go. Uh, so this is where we're going to be operating for right now. See if we can engage the British fleet at all. Uh, might have to push them out a little bit further. I don't know. To actually be able to engage them. We'll have to see. Sunk five Japanese convoys over here. Excellent. Submarines are doing pretty good over there. Uh, I didn't expect much from them, honestly. But yeah, they haven't been do doing too shabby there. Uh, so we have these guys here. Let's go ahead and do the naval invasion. We could have had them planning the whole time, honestly. Uh, but you know what? I don't want all of them going. Uh, let's just send two. I think that's all that's going to be necessary. And invade. All right, so two invasions up there. And then we're going to grab these two here. Just two of them. And naval invade over to here. Just to get those areas wrapped up. All right, fantastic. All right, so uh, hopefully we don't, they don't get engaged over there. I suppose we'll just have to see. Looks like there is a invasion over here in Guam. Uh, Guam is a tough one to keep sometimes. Let's go ahead and see if we don't have anybody we can send to help them out. Some planes, perhaps. Yeah, we are going to need more naval bombers. That's for damn sure. Uh, you know what? I'm probably going to reduce some of the naval bomber co coverage that we have. Yeah, like these guys here. Let's reduce their numbers. Oh, okay. Never mind. That's air superiority. No, we don't want that. And then we have 200 naval bombers somewhere. There they are. Excellent. Uh, let's go ahead and split these. And then we're going to move. Oh, those are the fighters. God damn it. <laughs> I want the naval bombers. Oh, it's tactical bombers. Got it. That's what the problem is. All right, let's go ahead and move the, the tactical bombers in and have them come over here to help us out and all these air bases that we just finished up. So we know that there's a lot of ships over here. So let's have them uh, do naval striking there. Uh, then we also have, I want to say, some naval bombers. Yeah, we got naval bombers there. Do we have any extra ones over here? We do. All right, let's have the, the actual naval bombers here, and we're going to go ahead and split these. And then have one of them come over here to support us there. And then hopefully that's successful. <laughs> and uh, that's right. We have these guys that I moved over here as well. Let's have them move over to here. And also do naval strikes. All right. So that looks pretty good. Uh, should help us out here. Uh, getting a little bit of naval coverage there. And I moved the uh, training air force over to here, guys. And these guys are just standing by because I don't think I have anything for them to do right now. We could have them help us provide support here uh, for the carriers that we battle. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Let's go and split them. And then have some go here and provide air superiority. And then some go over here. Although we haven't really engaged them much over here, honestly. All right. That looks excellent. Hopefully these guys get here in time because, as you can see, we're currently losing this battle. In fact, maybe we should go ahead and, and have our submarines go engage them over there. Just temporarily, just to try and get them sunk, I suppose. Yeah, let's move them over there. No, 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 wait a minute. These guys ain't doing shit. <laughs> let's have them do it. I mean, they're not, it's not they're not doing anything. Let me take that back. Let's move them over there, and hopefully the, uh, the convoy escorts don't get sunk. Uh, just to see if those submarines can make it over here and sink these, these ships before we lose Guam. We just have to see. Yeah, they are already there. Excellent. Uh, but there is a battle here. So <laughs> hopefully our, our uh, planes get here to help us out soon. Very soon. It does take a little while to, to move them, of course, now. Since we have to move them manually rather than, you know, pulling them back. And yeah, we're getting tons of convoy sunk here. Excellent. Yeah, this is looking pretty damn good. So those that should only take 14 days for those guys to be ready to do those invasions. We're still doing the mine lane all the way across here. There's not really anywhere else to do the mine lane. Because, uh, uh, I mean, we could do them over here. But this is all, like, deep ocean. So it's just not going to be, like, highly effective. Uh, we could do the mine lane across these regions here if we wanted to, I suppose. That's deep ocean, though. Yeah, we could do it there. Yeah, most of these areas is just not going to be very effective. Ah, oh, that's, that's not deep ocean there. Yeah, none of these. So there's no real reason to, to move the, the mine fleet over to here. All right, we got submarine operations. Excellent. Uh, so let's go ahead and continue down the naval techs. Uh, we're getting naval uh, experience. And remember, we want to get our cruisers next, so we're going to want to get the cruiser uh, armors. And sunk two more convoys there. Excellent. Uh, so how are we doing here? Did we get the damn... Where did the planes get here? I wish I'd remember where I pulled those planes from. And Unitary South Africa just declared war on South Africa. So things are happening over there now. Um, so that's... 
I think that's the same imperial situation that we saw in Canada and in uh, Australia, and now it's happening over here. Uh, so that's going to result in, uh, yeah, that's them right here. Uh, so that's little old South Africa, not much left of them. Uh, the British are getting pushed back, though, by the Italians. If the Italians take one more port, then the British here, well, never mind, they'll have the, never mind, they have the uh, uh, Imperialist South Africa port. I was going to say they would have them cut off. Um, so, yeah, the, the Italians are doing great in Africa. Overall, the Italians have surprised me. I, I'm quite, um, <laughs> I, I, I just never seen them do so well. Uh, the Italians are usually the joke of, of not just in history, but the, the jokes of uh, the campaigns often. They just do so terrible. All right, so we know we're going to lose submarines here, but we're just trying to, to save this situation here. Uh, but, of course, if we don't actually sink any, any convoys, then it doesn't really matter, huh? Let me just see here. Yeah, we still don't have the damn planes, unfortunately. It's taking them a while. They do have to travel really far. We should be fair. Uh, it's, it takes them a long time to get there. So we can readmit another state to the Union. We're going to continue knocking these out. Uh, and what I should also do is mark the improved worker conditions next time so that when that pops up, we can see it because we have to continue doing it until the stability is all the way up. Uh, so let's go ahead and readmit Louisiana to the Union. All right, and it's more manpower as well. Manpower is not going to be a problem probably for some time, guys. I don't see it being an issue. Uh, and it looks like we did lose some more submarines. All right, but well, that's a shame. Yeah, we're just losing submarines left and right. But once we get our air force over here, uh, this is going to be uh, this is going to be a different situation, guys. Uh, this is going to go a lot, a lot better for us. All right, and I brought more troops over here. Mitch, you'll notice they're going over there. Now uh, I brought one over to Wake Island and one over to uh, Midway, I think. Uh, so we took the port here. Let's go and get this wrapped up, guys. Attention. Let's get all of these troops here, just attack and finish it up. They are cut off, that's a Japanese division. Uh, while these two divisions here, I was going to go ahead and throw them in the train army, let them train up a bit. And then they can come into this army. Uh, so are these guys, yeah, they're here. All right, so we're going to want to start getting the naval invasions ready. Let's move these guys over here, uh, and they'll be joining that army. And they'll be under, I really need to name these. But yeah, they're going to be over in this one, uh, the Pacific one. All right, uh, take a look over here and see how many more submarines we lost. Lost a few more. Still don't have the this fucking Air Force here yet. Oh, wait a minute, they're here. All right, awesome. So yeah, we should be we should be bombing the fleet here now, you would think. I'm not entirely sure. Hmm. Yeah, that might not be how it's going to work. I think you have to... Yeah, I think you have to be in battle with them to actually be battle to actually be bombing their fleet. I'm not entirely sure. Let me just take a look here. Uh, they could also be helping out in this attack, but that's not going to work either. You know, what, let's go and pull this back uh, because yeah, I wasn't planning on doing this for very long. Just until we got the the uh, planes here. Maybe it would be close air support that we'd do uh, to make sure that they're supporting them. But then that's a naval bomber, so that doesn't help us. Let's try. Yeah, I have no. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I was hoping that they would be able to, to bomb those convoys there, but they're not not—they're not doing it. All right, and they're assigned to it, right? Let's take a look here. Yeah, they're assigned to naval bombing. All right, these guys could probably... Uh, these are fighters. Yeah, we still haven't... We don't have our uh, our larger bombers here just yet. We got one of them. All right, awesome. So they'll be able to provide a bit of support there. Uh, and, yeah, looking pretty good overall. I mean, in the air war. Uh, we haven't really seen much resistance uh, in that regard. Haven't had too many issues. All right, and there's that fleet there. Uh, and yes, Romania, of course. Let's take a look. Uh, looks like we did sink a convoy there. Excellent. Uh, while the fleet was over here. Yeah, I don't think we're going to win this. I think we're going to lose Guam, guys. You know, uh, historically, the Americans lost Guam as well. So I guess it makes sense. Uh, so these guys probably shouldn't be repairing here. <laughs> get out of there. Yeah, get out of there, man. I don't think that repairs, and then we'll tell them to go repair now, somewhere else. I don't think repairs result in you losing your ships, but I think it's just refitting. Uh, yeah, we definitely lost Guam. All right, it is what it is. It's kind of far away. It's not surprising. But we're going to keep Wake Island. They ain't taking that one from me. No, sir. Uh, and here's a big battle over here uh, where we actually can engage with their uh, with their sh their ships, with our, our larger bombers now. 
Uh, so that's awesome. Uh, this is the one good thing about the Navy being over here is that it'll allow us to bomb all their ships. Uh, and I don't know if we'll actually be effective at bombing them uh, at all. Uh, we'll just have to see uh, if they're able to do anything. Because remember, they don't, we don't have any fighter support. The fighters are too far away. They're not going to be, yeah, they're not going to be any help to them. Uh, so maybe we'll be able to do something. Maybe we'll just lose a bunch of planes. I don't know. And Lithuania is in the conflict, of course. Yeah, not seeing any, not seeing us haven't done anything. Let's say we just saw, lost submarines. Ah, uh, we did a little bit, of, we did a little bit of damage. Not much, uh, but it's something. We had another battle over here, and once again, lost more submarines. How are we doing on the submarines? Yeah, they're, they're not doing great. Losing a lot of them. Um, so these guys are now over here. Excellent. Let's go ahead and tell them to start operating now. Uh, well, they're repairing right now. We'll let them repair first. I don't know how, where they took the damage from, but we'll let them finish up their repairs since they're already doing it. Let's take a look what happened over here. And can we do our, our invasion jet, the Yellow Army? Let's take a look. Let's see if these guys are ready. Um, well, they can't do one here. Uh, no, no, it's not there. It's right there. Okay, we'll fix that now. Uh, we actually have a fleet nearby. Uh, so let's go ahead and have these guys assigned over here now. And I don't think we need anybody there because, yeah, I think they've, yeah, they're pretty much good there. All right, so let's just, just assign them to these two regions here. And is this fleet not assigned over here? Yeah, they're assigned right there. All right. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know why it's saying we can't patrol that region. Oh, we got another region down here. All right, that makes sense. I don't think we'll go into the Mid-Atlantic just yet. Let's just see if we can't engage anybody. So far, we have not had any success engaging the, the British fleet yet. All right, so these guys should be able to invade now. And also, do we have the backup fleet here? Yeah, where are they at? Uh, this fleet right here. Yeah, they're supposed to be doing, helping out with naval invasions here. Oh, there they are. All right, they're gonna help with that one. All right, that works out fine. All right, so let's go ahead and send these, uh, the yellow troops. Go grab those two areas. Uh, we should have wrapped this up just about. All right, excellent. So let's go ahead and have a quick naval invasion done here. And I, I want to say a lot of this army needs to train. Yeah, they took a lot of, and I'm going to just fully train them before we send them to the Pacific Theater. Uh, or actually, we might be sending these to the Soviet Union. I don't know. We'll see. I, I don't think they're going to be around <laughs> at that point. Uh, we did finish training these guys. Excellent. Let's go ahead and get them moving over to other places that need to be defended. Uh, let's do... Yeah, I don't really... I don't really care about most of this. These guys didn't move like I told them to. Yeah, I don't think they'll do naval invasions over here. They might though. Let's let's go ahead and do it. Let's defend them. We'll send one over here, and then the other guy, wherever he's at, we're gonna send him over to here. Just because there's so many resources here, and I don't I don't want to lose them. These guys did not go where I told them to go. Uh, so that's I think they weren't in Georgetown yet when I sent them. Let's go ahead and send them over here then. They'll make their way over there. Uh, and this fleet, or this army is just about ready. We go and start sending them now, actually. Uh, we're not going to send them all at once. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to do naval invasions into these islands here. I want to seize control of this area. Uh, so this would be the first one, the Ellis Islands. We'd want to probably send at least four divisions. So let's send some divisions there. Now, one of the problems is going to be uh, supply. We're not going to have enough supply here, so we should probably build this up. Build Phoenix Island up just a little bit, uh, just for the supply purposes. Uh, in fact, I don't even want to build it up that much. And then infrastructure is good as well. So let's go and take that up to the top. And then we're just going to... This this army is going to be all split up and stuff. I don't really care. That it's, it might cause some problems, uh, but it's it's fine. All right, so let's send these all, all these guys over here to Phoenix Island. And hopefully they make it, because <laughs> I don't think we have patrols over here. Uh, so we'll see. So that's all another reason why to just send some of them uh, in small numbers here. And we should have wrapped this up. Yes, sir. All right. So now that the Red Army's all going over to the train, let's get all of these guys going over to here. I think that's the port, right? Yeah, that's the port. Ready. And then we're just going to take like two of these guys here and then have them do a quick naval invasion just to wrap that territory up right there. All right. Excellent. Uh, so get that taken care of. And then if this port is still here. I mean, it's barely here. Maybe we'll we'll send some troops there. Maybe we'll just start sending them now and see if they get there. Let's just send a couple divisions. Up. Who's all here? Two of these are about to do the naval invasion. Listen Let's up. wait until we get these guys here, and then we're going to send some, some troops over there. See if they make it. Maybe just send one. Yeah, you know what? Let's send one. Just one over there, and 
see if he survives. Uh, so I think it's uh, this guy here, the Titans division. He's a Titan, of course he's gonna make it. All right, so just send one and see if he, he makes it and that'll give us a an area for us to, to launch attacks, help the, the Soviets out. It's a long, long trip though, guys, so it's gonna take them a while to get there. I don't really know if they'll still be around by that point. All right, so just taking a look, it looks like we did lose here, unfortunately. Our planes should have moved. Uh, I would assume they moved over here. Yep, so there's our naval bombers uh, right there. Let's go ahead and have them go to one of these other areas. Let's have them go here and cover that region. Honestly, this is a little bit more condensed region now, uh, now that we don't have to guard over here in the Mariana region with our one one island there. So it kind of works out for the better. I'm trying to see the positives here. Uh, but are our Air Force, are they done training yet? No, we're still training up. I'm letting them get the experience, might as well. And we might also want to put some, some planes here. Yeah, I think that would be a good idea. So let's go and get, do we have any like spare uh, naval bombers anywhere? Uh, these guys are still launching their attack there, still launching an attack there as well. Just looking for like naval bombers that aren't really like doing anything important. Uh, we could use, nah, we have a hundred there. We'll leave them, we'll leave them there. Well, what I will do though, is I don't think we need to have our fighters here anymore. Let's bring them over here. And then we'll just increase the size of the airbase here if we're not already. I think we are. Yeah, we're currently doing it. Let's just let it build up then. And then we'll send some of the larger bombers, uh, the tactical bombers, to help us help us out in the seas here. All right, so what's going on over here? Are they attacking us? No, we're attacking them. Excellent. It looks like we are just about to land. Fantastic. Non-aggression pack from South Africa. Sure, we'll take that. Sinking more of their convoys as well. Looks like we're not going to face any resistance over here, so should be able to take that easy enough. Ready, we sir. did uh, win over here as well. Let's just have one division wrap this up for us. All right, Ready, fantastic. We're just going to delete that. Oh, shit. There's actually... Okay, that's French. Never mind. All right. So getting those wrapped up. And, yeah, just a ton of divisions. Really not much that we can do with a lot of them. Where would be the next invasions after the Phoenix Island 2? I guess they would have to launch from Phoenix Island as well. No, actually, we could launch invasions over here, but they would probably get engaged, so let's just send one. I'm just going to be really conservative with this, guys. One division at a time. And so if we lose them, then we only lose the one one guy. And it's sad. Obviously, you don't want to lose any divisions. But we've got to get troops here so we can do naval invasions. And then we'll be moving, I might even move my task. Once we get a couple more uh, air bases here where I know I can get air coverage, because right now we are covering most of it, but remember those are tactical bombers and they're not great when it comes to uh, uh, helping out in the naval uh, battles, but they're, they're something. Uh, once we, uh, yeah, I think we might actually go into here soon. We're just building up the fleet though. Uh, let's get it a little bit larger. Let's see if there's any uh, fleet uh, ships that are done training. There is, excellent. Uh, let's take a look at this fleet here. Uh, they currently have, how many light cruisers are we rocking right now? One, two, three, four, five, six light cruisers. All right, uh, and only 11 destroyers. So let's go and move both of the, or two of these, excuse me. Uh, okay, torpedo and a sub. We actually have three destroyers, or two destroyers. Uh, and I only wanna move one of them over there right now. So most of them are, are sub destroyers. Uh, so let's do the torpedo destroyer then. Oh, and it looks like he got damaged as well. How sad. Uh, so let's uh, create a new fleet and have them join this fleet. All right, excellent. And then the other uh, remaining destroyer is going to be moving over to this fleet. All right, looking good. Uh, so what happened over here did sink more of their convoys, they spy promoted, fantastic. Uh, trying to get that war, so that stability up, excuse me. Uh, we're at 18% right now. Uh, it's just going up so damn slow. Uh, that does affect our production as well as a lot of other things. Uh, we did get a little bit of support here. Um, lost a plane. Yeah, this is this is helping. Uh, we're slowly doing a little bit of damage to them. Uh, diesel powered emergency pumps, excellent. Uh, so that's gonna help us get less uh, critical, critical hits to our fleets. Uh, let's continue getting equipment. See what we want to do next. I think I said I was going to do torpedoes next. Yeah, I think that'll be the best thing to get is the torpedo launchers. We also need the medium battery guns, though. Hmm. All right, we'll get the medium battery guns. All right, remember we have troops going across the seas. Just hoping that they make it. Uh, it looks like they decided to bring troops over here, surprisingly. Yeah, that's unexpected. 
All right, uh, so let's see what happened over here. We did sink a destroyer. We did it. We finally sunk a Japanese ship other than a submarine. Surprised. <laughs> we lost the submarine though. Uh, so yeah, we're just having a lot of trouble over here. Uh, let me just see if uh, how many submarines we have left. Not a lot. And then have these guys join here. And then the once these guys finish up, we'll have these two join join there. I guess we can just leave them here for right now. All right. Taking a look at the train ships. We do have another submarine done. Excellent. That's exactly what we need because we're so short on damn submarines right now. Let's go ahead and have them move over to here and then have them combine with this fleet. Okay. Just trying to get those submarines. We need to really start building submarines a little bit faster, I think. Maybe with our new dockyards that we're building. Uh, let's see what we did over here. Just more convoys. I keep ex I keep on hoping that we're, we're going to engage the British British fleet, but Attention. no luck yet. Let's go and attack right there. And this guy's Take almost shot. got this region here wrapped up. Uh, and how did we? How are we doing on getting this invasion done? Borders. It should be finished. Let's activate it. Get them attacking. Where are? Is that one? There he is. He's gonna make it. The Titan Division guys. Hopefully he'll make it. And what we'll do so that because it does take so long to move over there. Let's just move a couple of these because I was gonna move them over there any damn way. Uh, let's take like three of them and move them over to the two island here. And then from there we can move them. Uh, to the Soviet territory. It looks like they're holding out over here surprisingly. Yeah, uh, research is finished on the shell dies. Excellent. Uh, so let's get I think torpedoes next. I said I was gonna get them. Yeah, we'll get torpedoes next And then we'll probably do light batteries after that uh, though. I think we still need the destroyer holes All right, didn't lose any submarines that time uh, And yeah, we're engaging. Yeah, these guys are doing fantastic. Engaging them, our uh, bombers here. Okay, so did we finish building this air base up? Yeah, it's uh, much larger. Let's go ahead and give them some support over there. Uh, I think we have, and yeah, we currently have the uh, the tactical bombers here. They're trained up enough, I'd say. Let's stop them from training here, and then we're gonna have them support us right there with naval strikes. So far, we have yet to engage the, the British fleet, though, so, yeah, if they don't go across. Like I said, we might have to send more, uh, uh, send our ships further out to really be able to engage them. All right, we've got something else for our ships. Lovely. Let's do, let's do the destroyer holes. We need to get them eventually. Okay. And we only have 17 experience. It's not going to be enough, I don't think, to, to design anything. Yeah, we're losing a lot of... A lot of uh, planes over here, though. That's one of the negatives. Uh, they're all getting shot down, and our fighters just can't support. I don't even know why I bother having them over here, honestly. They're not going to be able to, you know, support much there. But we are doing damage to all of them. So that's, that's at the very least, going to require them to go repair. Yeah. All right. Uh, so still haven't engaged any of the the large fleet ship with our own large fleets. We haven't seen any huge battles just yet. We did get the Liberty ships. Excellent. That's going to help us out building those convoys up. And then I want to say, yeah, amphibious invasion speed is also increased from that. Uh, so let's go ahead and do the, I think the fun Navy. Oh no, no. If we want our submarines to be better, let's do this one. That makes farmer sense. Okay. Uh, so yeah, they're mostly bombing convoys there. All right, how about over here? Yeah, doing okay. Uh, might speed it up a little bit. Yeah, we sunk a convoy, good job. Do we have any naval invasions we need to be concerned about? They're still attempting to invade Wake Island. In fact, that might be a naval invasion right there on the Wake Island. Yeah, that's a troop convoy. So yeah, we're bombing them all the way across here. All right, that's awesome. So they're gonna be fairly weak by the time they get here. Yeah, we're doing a little bit of damage to him. Okay, uh, so, and these things are just gonna keep on popping up. I need to stop clicking on them, but I can't stop myself, guys. I can't stop it. So, did we get our division up here yet? Not just yet, they're still holding out as well. And we did get the Mitchells. Fantastic, because we are starting to focus on that a bit more. Because uh, we need more medium bombers. Uh, so, now that we've got that, we'll go ahead and get those research in here in a minute. And let's do, Something, I think we're gonna start working towards the, uh, yeah, it would probably be a good idea to start working on the, the air, 
air doctrines. Because we, yeah, we, we are not even close to having them done, so let's do that. Uh, outdated equipment. That's right. We do need to get our tactical bombers out there. Uh, just looking at ships and when we're going to get some of these done here. Looks like we're getting cruisers finished up here soon this fall. Uh, looking at the larger ships, though. Yeah, it's not going to be till March until we get the carriers done, unfortunately. When are we going to get our first of our Tom Cruisers? 2nd of November. All right, we're going to get the first Tom Cruiser very, very soon, guys. Oh, yes. One thing that people have asked me to do here is to name the first of our new battleships, uh, the South Dakotas, to name it after... And did we not set the name to historical names? We must not have. So yeah, we're going to name the first battleship of the new models, the USS Jinx, after my wife and co-host. Seems that we are short on aluminum again. Let's go and continue trading for that. There are decisions to use that will increase uh, the amount of aluminum that we get from our states, uh, as well as other resources. Uh, one problem with that, though, is that, you know, obviously we're really short on political power. Are they launching this invasion here? Can't even tell. Looks like we did get this division here, so that's excellent. And um, that's going to be used for launching uh, further invasions. Did we get the ones in Phoenix Island? We did. All right, awesome. Let's go ahead and take care of these invasions then. Let's do one there on Ellis Island. And then get these guys launching an invasion. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> oh, it's such a pain in the ass, man. How easy it is on these little islands to click something you don't want to click. All right, so we're going to just start knocking out these islands. I could do less than, than two divisions, but just in case we face resistance, we don't want them in the sea too long since we don't actually aren't supporting them here. And we do need to go ahead and give them uh, some, some naval support. Uh, remember we said we were going to move. Uh, I actually might move, now that we're done with the invasions over there, I think we're going to move these guys over here as well. Uh, yeah, that would probably be wise. All right, so let's do, do we want them to be in this area to operate? Yeah, let's just put them over here. Uh, we'll move them here. And it's going to take a while to get there, of course. And then we have another fleet that we said we we're going to use, this one. It's going to move these guys here as well. And they're going to be doing, he's already doing naval invasion support. He's going to change over to naval invasion support as well. All right, so we have two doing naval invasion support now. Excellent. And one of them's fairly large, the other one not so much. Hopefully they don't get engaged because, yeah, that would be bad. <laughs> they would get sunk. Uh, we have no chance of beating the Japanese uh, fleet over there right now, guys. We do got some troops done training. Uh, these guys here, let's place them to, uh, we got the two main areas I wanted to defend already defended. Uh, so let's move these guys over to somewhere around here where we might want to defend. Uh, you know what? This is... Let's just move them over to the, the Phoenix Islands because they're going to need to defend some of these islands that we're taking. Uh, so let's go ahead and move them to that army, to the Phoenix Islands. Excellent. We've got some more troops done training. Uh, let's go ahead and place these. I think we want to put them into that uh, army over there because I want to say we're just short of divisions here. We should also have those two divisions uh, that came from South America. Get them moving over here as well. And we have taken that out. Excellent. Let's go ahead and delete that. Get these guys going back. Actually, no, no, no. Cancel that. Let's have these guys go ahead and start moving uh, to the yeah, two island here. We should probably build up that island now that we're pumping so many troops over here. And the, the Russians got troops here as well. Uh, so we should probably get the, the naval base there built up a little bit for supply. And we'll take that up to the top as well. All right, looking pretty good. Uh, and did we ever get that division here? He made it. The Titan division made it, man. <laughs> I'm so happy. All right, so his job is going to be just to protect the port while we send more divisions. Uh, and in fact, those yeah, those guys are on their way. We'll let them continue. Uh, and then let's just send, once again, uh, just two divisions. Uh, those guys can go where they're going. Eventually, we're going to get the whole Red Army to assist us here. Of course, if we can supply them. Uh, that's obviously a major thing to, that's going to be factored in here. And we're going to try and hit the Japanese from behind over here. And that's going to be our contribution on the mainland and we have sunk a ton of convoys look at all that wow all right nice so before we end the episode which is going to be very very soon here guys uh we're going to take a look at the the naval war again see how things have been going uh in the conflict so far for us this year and 
over the last couple of months. Yeah, just losing planes left and right, unfortunately. I really feel like we're gonna have to step up production of the medium bombers. Yeah, because, I mean, we have 10 going towards them right now, but I don't think that's gonna be enough, guys. Yeah, let's go and put 15, any any military factories I can pull. Let me see what we're really stacked on right now. Nothing, honestly. Yeah, there's nothing that we're extremely stacked on. Uh, artillery, I guess we could pull from, from artillery a little bit, yeah. Let's pull from that. Uh, we could probably get more troops as well. Yeah, let's do that. Let's uh, get some more divisions here. And don't want more Marines right now. We can get more uh, armored troops, though. We don't quite have the experience to, to do much, honestly. Let's get, like, five. And we're going to want to set them up as well. Come over here and train. But what we can do is adjust the Marines to make them a little bit better. Oops, those are the mountain troops. I didn't realize the mountain troops are so damn garbage. Yeah, the mountain troops need to be changed up as well. And that puts us over the special forces limit. I didn't realize how bad they were. Yeah, I thought we had made adjustments to them. I think we were just getting them trained though. All right, so mountain divisions are terrible. I guess that makes sense why we were able to get so many of them. All right, well, we can't make adjustments to the Marines though. Let's go ahead and give them, uh, let's do field hospitals first. Just to kind of save manpower. Save lives, guys. All right, so it's like just a couple convoys here going through here that we're bombing. Uh, but, whoa. What happened there? Bunch of shit just happened. Uh, it looks like Finland has capitulated. Ooh, good news. Finally. Finally good news for the Soviets. We'll have to go take a look at the situation in Europe. In fact, that is about the end of the episode, so might as well go ahead and start taking a look at, uh, at that situation over there. Uh, so we got the escort patrols, which is fantastico. Uh, let's go ahead and... I almost want to just focus on getting this stuff over here now. Uh, yeah, and some of these are some nice bonuses as well, like the torpedo reveal chance. Yeah, it makes them less likely to reveal their presence when they launch a torpedo. Yeah, that'd be useful to have. Uh, we could get those snorkels too for the n newest submarines. All right. So let's just see, we'll go through all the little icons here. Yeah, just losing, losing fucking planes from this uh, battle. Not Nothing happening over here. Unfortunately, um, they are right there though. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what's going on, but yeah, we've lost so many submarines in this this uh, navy here. Unfortunately, is the fleets over here uh, in preparation? I think they're we're still waiting for them. Why are they up here? Hmm, that's strange. Yeah, they should be down here. Did I not set them up to operate over here? Could have swore I did. Yeah, I don't know why they're helping out with naval with uh, naval invasions there. Like, the naval invasions are here. Hmm. You're not entirely sure what's going on here. Why they're not moving. I mean, these guys are slowly... Oh, no, they're not moving. Huh. Not entirely sure what's going on. All right, well, whatever. We'll have to manually move them, I suppose. I'm not entirely sure why that's going on. Let's move those guys on over to here. In fact, we could probably move these ones over to here. Because I am going to launch a naval invasion from here. We do need another division here, though. So let's go ahead and do that now. Uh, move one more division. Anything but the mountain troops, since obviously mountain troops are a lot worse than I thought they were. Uh, no, not Midway. Wake Island. Hopefully they make it. All right, so we'll launch an invasion there into these islands here. To slowly eliminate all the bases that the Japanese have to operate out of there. Uh, also, these guys are here now. Let's go ahead and send them straight over to Soviet Union. And then we'll build a front out there. Uh, though I'm a little bit worried about building a front because I'm worried that the entire Red Army will go all at once, which would not be desirable uh, at all. We can go and send a few more troops. Uh, let's just send like, three more. We just want to send them in waves so if one, gets, one group gets caught up, they don't all get destroyed. All right, that looks good. So let's take a look at the situation in Europe, see how things are going. Uh, Germany is holding out strong. France is actually losing territory again. Um, Germany is still holding out strong, which is surprising. Not that they're gonna that they're gonna fall apart uh, once they had the Austria Austria-Hungary join against them. Uh, it looks like Poland is 
still keeping their territory and pushing forward a little bit. Uh, Soviet Union, once again, has destroyed Finland. Looks like they focused on that, so that's good. So they got one of those fronts wrapped up because uh, they're losing losing ground over here on this front. Uh, so that's not good. And losing all across on the Asian front as well. Yeah, this is, this is rough for them. But luckily, there's not a lot of victory points over here, uh, so it's not that bad. Uh, it looks like Communist China is still holding out, surprisingly. Uh, they've been holding out for a while now, but uh, it's not going to be much longer before they're, they're gone as well. Uh, but that's pretty much the situation around the world. Uh, looking at Africa, I suppose, we can look over here. Italians continue to push south. Uh, it looks like the, the British are no longer uh, yet. Yeah, no, they have a little border right there. If that gets taken and then they lose their ports over here, uh, then, and in fact, it looks like they actually pushed up over here. They got pushed back here and they pushed up there. Uh, but if they lose those ports, then any troops here would be cut off and easily destroyed. Uh, it does seem that uh, South Africa is advancing against imperialist South Africa, but perhaps I'm just imagining things. No, this is all their land. Yeah, South Africa is winning. Uh, it's currently going to get them defeated, hopefully. And that's currently the conflict. Remember, France and, and Britain are fighting in Africa as well. Looks like the British might be winning that one, though. And that's pretty much all there is to see, I think. Yeah, nothing else really. All right, guys, so next episode, we're gonna launch these invasions. We should hopefully by that point then have our fleets over here. I don't know why they didn't come over here on their own. I've been waiting this whole time. They hadn't, haven't been coming. Uh, so we're gonna launch the two invasions there, start taking those islands. We're gonna launch an invasion here. We're gonna be helping out the Soviet Union over here. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> we, we finish these, these uh, attacks here. We can go ahead and bring them back home now. No reason to keep them there. And let me know what you guys are thinking. Uh, I think brought this up last episode. Do you think we should go ahead and attack Denmark, which would, of course, then bring them into the conflict? Uh, you know, and well, they're kind of going communist. Maybe what we need to do is slowly boost party popularity. I mean, the invasion of Britain's not going to happen anytime soon. They still have like 200 ships. Uh, yeah. So what we could do is try and get them communist. Obviously, we don't have a lot of political power to be spending on that. But it might be worth it. If we flip them over to con communists, then we can invade from their territory. Uh, that's an option as well. Uh, and then we don't have to attack them. Or do you think we should uh, just, say, leave Denmark alone and then just attempt to attack from our own port? Uh, once again, can't do shit until we get that British Navy destroyed. And I can't seem to engage them. I'm going to have to like go and operate into their areas. All right, guys. So that's going to be the end of the episode. Hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video. Subscribe to our channel. Hit that notification bell and leave a comment. And thanks for watching, guys.